Hey folks, got a little bit of a different approach on the setup for a uh, dual dual clutch dry PTO. It's behind a Perkins 236 diesel on a Massey Ferguson 175. Um, this tractor is a six speed with multi power, 11 inch drive clutch, nine inch PTO dry clutch. Um, both are 10 spline. Rather than messing with the uh, the input depth between the hub face and the, uh, the nuts, the round nut or round bolts that uh, drive on the throw out, I decided to uh, indicate one as best I can and then zero the others to it using a dial indicator and rolling the uh, the flywheel assembly. Seems to work out a lot better than fumbling with the uh, the, the the hub to. Uh, bolt depth here. Get you a little closer. Let's see what's going on. Roll it around. You can see some contact. Get to zero. On to the next one. Get to one. To close to zero. And as you can see, you can drive check them. Get in here, check the spring loaded. And roll it around again. Seems to work out much better than playing the uh, depth game. Because as you can see, there is no real way to get the hub and the, the high spot on the round bolts. You can get the edge, but you are, don't get the center on any indicator that has the plunger coming out of the center. So rather than do that, let the indicator tell us and it's as easy as uh, roll the bolts with it touching and you can select your zero depth. Maybe it'll help some guys. It's real easy stuff. Little cantilevered arm, magnet base, and uh, away you go. I have a depth of about 48 using this as best I can and a flat plate between the rounds. So with that said, Hopefully I get them close enough and we don't have to do it twice. Hey guys, keep working on your shit. Another struggle. See ya.